Microsoft just released the latest version of Windows 10, the May 2021 update, which is also called version 21H1. There are not too many new or exciting features in this release, but it does improve the operating system overall experience with numerous performance and security enhancements. So overall, it is worth installing. There are a few features that it does include, but these are targeted more towards business and remote users. These include things like Windows Hello multi-camera support, improved Windows Defender application guard performance, and better Windows management instrumentation for group policy. So how do you get this update? The quickest, easiest way is click on Start, go into Settings, click on Update and Security, and check for updates. Now, please be forewarned. Most people are not going to get this right away because Microsoft is rolling out the updates in a staged release just because of too many people updating at the same time. So the next way to do this, if we just close this down, open up your web browser. And the simplest way is just type, do a search for the Windows Update Assistant. Alrighty, once you're at the Windows 10 Update Assistant website from support.microsoft.com, click on this option right here that says download the update assistant. Now you can choose to update right now or you can create your installation media. If we create download the tool, then that'll give us the options to create our own media, to create it onto a USB drive and do various other things. So once that's downloaded, we can simply run the tool. While that's running, one thing I wanted to mention to you is that the new update, all the features and all the various aspects that Microsoft has included have actually been rolled out already in various security rollups over the last few months. Their features are just lying dormant. So there is an option now, if you have Windows 10 version 2004 or 20H2, you can do an alternative upgrade Okay, Tim Forums has written up a good uh, summary of this. If you scroll down their page here, you can get this KB500736, but only run this, like I say, if you already have version 2004 or 20H2. Click on the relevant one for your operating system. I'm hoping nobody runs 32-bit anymore. Click on the 64-bit. Because I already have version 20H2, I'm going to run this update right away. Okay, while that's running, if you are creating your installation media, which I generally do because I install it on clients' computers, so I have my USB drive, click on Accept. Just wait for the screen to load in a couple of seconds. Okay, once it's loaded, here are your options to upgrade this PC now, which I generally don't do, or create installation media. So click on Next. Basically, we'll download an ISO file based on your current operating system, or you can change this and choose to do both 32-bit and 64-bit, but just leave it at the default is generally good. Now, here's the option where you can either burn it straight to a USB drive, which makes it bootable, and I use this feature quite often, or create an ISO file. So if you download it, just keep in mind it is a fairly large download, so click on Next, and you'll be ready to download the file. Okay, I usually put it into my downloads folder and away we go. So just while that's running in the background, here is the update that I ran, which is just an enablement update. You can see how much faster this is to update your operating system. So if we, if we check on Windows version, you can see it's 20H2. Now, because I've done the enablement update, which is the KB500736, if I restart now, okay, once your system comes back up, let's check the Windows version again. So click on Start, type W-I-N-V-E-R, which is abbreviated Windows version. And there we can see right away I have 21H1, which is the latest update. Now, like I say, definitely run the enablement patch instead if you have Windows 10 version 2004 or later. Otherwise, download the ISO, run it, and it'll do the full update. But that does take um, up to an hour or possibly more depending on your operating system. So a couple of options for Windows 10. Hopefully this helps you. Anyway, folks, take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye now.